Product management is one of the most rewarding careers in technology. And unfortunately, that makes it one of the hardest professions to break into. In this video, we'll talk about how to become a product manager and how to break into the industry, even if you have no experience. The first step, which may sound obvious, is to go and get product experience if you don't have it already. There are a variety of ways that you can get product management experience through projects, going to hackathons, or even collaborating with other people in your current company on projects that are more product oriented. What's important to research here is to understand what a product manager does. It might help to review five to 10 job descriptions of ideal roles that you have in mind of product managers so you can understand what the actual job entails and what skills that you can start developing at your current company or through side projects or hobbies. Now, one thing that helps with developing this experience is networking. There are a variety of online product management communities and channels, including Exponent, where you can connect with and meet other like-minded individuals who are either already product managers or aspiring product managers. After talking through things with them, you can then work better on understanding what experiences you might need and how you can actually get in and get a role at the company. Above all, with networking, it's important to simply ask for help. Putting it out there that you are looking for a product management role can often help others in your network understand how to help you. And so don't be afraid to reach out, let others know, and be communicative about your goals. That's one effective way to network and to better understand the landscape of what being a product manager entails. Now that you've developed your experience and you've also gotten better at networking and meeting other product managers, it's time to actually start applying the roles. What's important here is to get a referral if possible. And referrals are hard to come by, but hopefully by networking, you'll already know some product managers at top tier tech companies that can submit your resume on your behalf. Referrals are really, really important to getting in the door at companies, especially if you don't already have experience. So be sure to hit up people on LinkedIn or check out the guide in the description below so that you can understand some of our tips on how to get an awesome referral at a top tier tech company. Of course, what's important in the referral is having a good resume. This is a recruiter's first glance at who you are and why your background is a good fit. In the description below, we have a video and a blog post on how to improve your resume for some of these roles in product management. But above all, what's important is having a clear, concise view of your experience as it relates to product management. Again, looking at those job descriptions will help so that you can actually cater your resume to the job descriptions that you're applying to. And now, now that you've updated your resume, gotten some product experience, networked, gotten some referrals at companies, it's really all about a numbers game. While I may be discouraging, applying to tens, if not hundreds of roles can sometimes be helpful, especially when you're early on in your career and just breaking into product management. You may only get a few companies to respond to you, but even that is helpful signal and helpful feedback on what you might be able to improve. What is it about those companies that they saw in you and how can you accentuate that more in your interviews and in your resume? Last but not least, once you actually get in the door at these companies, it's all about the interview. At Exponent, we find that interviewing is one of the highest leverage skills that you can develop in your career because it can make or break your opportunity to get that higher salary or to get that new job. And so what's really important is to be ready and prepared for those interviews before you even start applying to these roles. If you need to get ready for PM interviews, tryexponent.com is one of the best resources out there. Um, and we are there to help you and support you throughout your interviewing journey. We know how hard interviewing is, let alone breaking into product management. And I hope this video was helpful and at least demystifying that process just a little bit more.